Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here in the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated on my latest video tutorial. Today, we are going to discuss about mathematical symbols. Why do we use mathematical symbols? Remember, my dear viewers, that mathematics is a universal language and the basics of math are everywhere in the universe. Mathematical symbols play a major role. Remember that symbols save times and space when writing. Mathematical symbols are used to perform various operations. It talks about the symbols. It will make it easier to refer the math. Quantities and interesting to know, the mathematics is completely based on numbers and symbols. Math symbols also not only refer to different quantities, but also represent the relationship between two quantities. The mathematical symbols are mainly used to perform mathematical operations under various concepts. As we know, the concepts of math is purely dependent on numbers and symbols. There are many symbols in math which has some predefined values. To simplify the expressions, we can use those kinds of values instead of those symbols. Some of the examples are the pi. These are what we call the symbol of pi, which holds the value of 22 and 7 or 3.710 and E symbol in math, which holds the value of E, that's 2.7182 at 182 at. This symbol is known as E constant or Euler constant. The table provided below has a list of all the common symbols in math with meaning and examples. There are so many mathematical symbols which are very important to students. To understand this as an easier way, the list of mathematical symbols are noted here with definitions and examples. There are numerous signs and symbols ranging from simple additions, concept, sign to the complex integrations, concepts of sign. Here are the list of mathematical symbols is provided in a tabular form and those notations are categorized according to concept wise. Symbols, names with meanings and examples. The basic symbols help us to work with mathematical concepts in a theoric, theoretical manner rather. In simpler words, without symbols, we cannot do math. The mathematical signs and symbols are considered as the representative of the value. We know that the basic symbols in math are used to express the mathematical thoughts or mathematical idea. The relationship between the sign and the value refers to the fundamental need of mathematical with the help of symbols, certain concepts and ideas are clearly explained. Here is a list of commonly used symbols in our stream of mathematics. We have the first column, the symbols, symbol name, meaning or definitions, and example. The first one is that the first symbol, it says that not equal sign, meaning inequality. So the example 10 is not equal to 6. Second, symbol name is equal sign. Meaning or definition is that equality. Or 3 is equal to 1 plus 2. The answer is 3. That means to say that's equal. The third symbol or symbol name is that strict inequality meaning less than 
7 less than 10. And that's absolutely correct. The next symbol name is that strict inequality, which has refers to greater than. 6 greater than 2. Please follow, guys. Next symbol or symbol name is inequality, which is the presence of less than or equal to. That's the definition. X is less than or equal to Y. Means Y is equal to X or Y is greater than X, but not vice versa. Another, guys, we have inequality. Meaning, our definitions refers to greater than or equal to. So, for example, A is greater than or inequality or greater than or equal to B. It means that A is equal to B or A is greater than B or like that, but vice versa. The next symbol or symbol name is the brackets. The brackets class is referenced to or the definition is this calculate expressions inside first just like gym does, pem does, okay, pem does or m does like that. We say so for example we used a bracket two times five in close it using the bracket or we can use also parentheses class plus seven so meaning to say we're going to multiply first in the, inside the bracket the given equation or the given number which is two times five is ten. When you add 7, the result is 7, 10. Right, my dear viewers? And the next symbol is that parenthesis. What is parenthesis, my dear students? Remember, the definition of parenthesis is that we need to calculate expressions inside first, just like the brackets also, using PEMDAS, MDAS, or GEMDAS. Three times, then in close parenthesis, we have 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. Then times 3, the result is equal to 30. Okay. The next symbol class is that the minus sign. Minus sign means meaning to say you need to subtract. Or that refers to subtraction. Example, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. That's what we call class the important thing that we need to clarify and identify the symbol names. And of course, including their meaning and example. Another is plus and minus. That means to say it, we can use both plus and minus operations. Say for example, 5 plus 3 or minus 3 is equal to 8 and 2. Because 5 plus 3 class is 8. Okay, and then 5 minus 3. 3, the answer is 2. So we can use it both. It's either addition or subtraction symbol. The next class is that times sign. It's a multiplication. So for example, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Another major viewers is asterisk. Asterisk means is multiplication symbol also. We can use that one to shorten or to maximize the space. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. We can use also asterisk signs in multiplication form. Next, division sign or ovilost. Division means, so for example, we need to divide. 15 divide 5 is equal to 3. Meaning to say there are 3 fives to make it 15. Like that. Another multiplication sign or symbol is that a multiplication dot. A multiplication dot, my dear viewers, is that a multiplication third definitions meaning to say we can use also two times three using a dot that's minimizing our space the answer is six next is horizontal line or division or fraction in meaning we can use this one symbol class eight then division using fraction is equal to four that means to say you divide it eight divided by two the answer is four next another class is division slash division is class is 6 slash 2 is equal to 3 that's division also mod or modulo meaning to say class remainder calculations okay it's not all number 7 mod 3 which is again 7 divided 3 
is equal to 1. That. A, B, or that's the power. Power of 1, power of 2. That's what we call the exponent form. Y2 exponent of 4 is 16. Y2 is the best form and 4 is the exponent. We need to multiply that twice. 4 times 4, the result is 16. The next class is period. Period means it refers to decimal point or decimal separator. So for example, 4.36 is equal to 4 plus 36 over 100 like that. Square root. Okay, we have the following symbols for a square root. So for example, square root of a times the square root of a is equal to a. Or square root of 9 is equal to positive 3 or negative 3. We can use also both the positive and negative sign. A carrot. A current class we have here a carrot of b. That means to say that's exponent. 2 carrot of 3 is equal to 8. That means to say class, you are going to use the exponential form. Okay? Next is fourth row. Okay? That is they're using the square root of fourth square root of a times 4 is square root of a like that until 4 times the result is 16 is equal both positive and negative 2 q of root 3 q of root of a times 3 q of root of a times 3 q of root of a is equal a to say 3 q of root of 343 is 7 next we have talking about greek alphabet letters used in math the symbols so we need to under also or we are going to study about the alphabet letters to use in math and what are those alphabet remember class mathematician frequently use the greek alphabet in their work just to represent the variables constants functions and so on and some of the commonly used greek symbols are listed below uppercase and lowercase or uppercase it means to say big letter lowercase small letter we have B, okay, the lowercase of B. So, Greek letter name is beta. For English class, lowercase b. Then, pronunciation drill is beta. Next is alpha, or letter A, uppercase, lowercase a. Greek letter name is alpha. Pronunciation is alpha. Next is delta, that's the set delta symbol. Uppercase, delta, and lowercase. In English equivalent is the lowercase. Then the pronunciation drill is delta. Next is gamma. Uppercase, we have here the symbol, guys. Uppercase and lowercase. Gamma means in English equivalent is g. Okay, that's lowercase g. Pronunciation is gamma. Okay. Next. Z. So we have uppercase and lowercase. Zeta. Z. Then pronunciation trial is Zeta. E. Epsilon. Epsilon. Another uppercase and lowercase refers to theta. English equivalent is th. Or theta, theta. Next is uppercase and lowercase, which is represented by h, eta, eta. Next is letter k, kappa, k for English equivalent or kappa. Next is letter l, lowercase, uppercase and lowercase, and the Greek letter name is lota. So it's represented by an equivalent to letter I. Lo, ta. And next is letter M, which Greek letter name is mu. English equivalent is M. Lower case. For pronunciation is mu. Again, class, Greek alphabet letters used in math. Remember that in their work, in representing the different variables, constants, and functions, and so on. Next, another examples and definitions. Lambda or lambda. Next, xe or xe. 
Next is nu or no. Next omicron or omicron. Pi or pay. Sigma, that's sigma. Rho, that's represented by letter P. So look at guys, let's follow. R or rho. Epsilon. Epsilon. Tao, that's Tao. Che, or K. Phi, or Phi. Omega, O, or Omega. Psi, we have PS, or Psi. Next, we have the common numeral symbols. Why we need to study the common numeral symbols, my dear viewers? Of course, we need to know them. So, for example, zero. In European, that's zero. In Roman, not applicable. For Hindu-Arabic, it's zero. And Hebrew, not applicable. One, same. Two, common numeral. So, we have double one, one, like that. For Roman. For Hindu, so we have the different signs. Remember, class, try to follow. Same, same. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So in Roman class, we have phrase it represented with letters. We have letter I, letter V, and letter X. Common numeral symbols we have 14 down to 113, 15. Look at in Roman class X and V that's represented by letters. Okay, 17, 18. Follow guys, 19, 20, 21. Okay, 20, 20 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, like that, or 55, 21, 22, 23, 24, like that, guys, okay? All we need to know is that the numeral symbols, especially in Roman numbers, okay? Hope, my dear viewers, you really understand our topic about different mathematical symbols, numeral symbols, Okay, again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Ram's Tutorial Educational Channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on my next video. And don't forget again to hit the notification bell icon and press the red button so that you're updated on my latest tutorial. So long, class. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys.